Welcome to another Cooking with James episode. Today we're making something special. Of course it's special. We're making sauteed Italian sausage and peppers. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some, some mild Italian pork sausages. I use spicy ones. You're going to need some baby spinach. I used frozen baby spinach. It's not as good, but it worked. Uh, you're gonna need one onion. You're gonna need an orange or a red bell, pe bell pepper, as well as a green bell pepper. I didn't have a green one, but uh, we use a yellow one. You're gonna need some tomato paste and some white rice. I used my favorite, uh, I used basmati rice. So once you get that all figured out, you're gonna wanna put some, uh, some water in a pot and get that boiling. You know, once it comes to a, a nice boil, throw in some salt, a pinch of salt, just like that, add in some rice. You know, you can measure your rice yourself. I'm not doing it for you. It's not that hard. You're gonna wanna bring that down to a simmer, cover that up and let that cook for about 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, let's cut up our veggies. You're gonna wanna core your, your peppers and cut them into slices like this. Just like that. That looks great. And then you're gonna do the same with your, with your, your onions. We cut them pretty long here. Normally we would do a bit smaller about half the size. We're really slow at, at cooking, so the rice was pretty much done by this point. We moved it off to a cold spot and uh, we turned off the heat. Now we are making spinach rice. So the next step is of course, we gotta cook up some spinach. Uh, we, we have frozen spinach. It, it's frozen. And you know, throw a pinch of salt in there as well. And yeah, there, there we go. And maybe, maybe some pepper, yep. Yeah. Yep, perfect, there we go. Yeah, once that's all thawed up and it's a bit wilted, it, it makes it in with your with your rice there. Look at it. Isn't wave goodbye. There it goes. Bye now. Now let's get back to cutting stuff. So let's slice up those sausages. We're looking for about a half inch rounds. That's what we're looking for here. Now the whole time we've been cooking, Benny's been watching. He's he's looking for any chance he can to steal some of these sausage rounds. He loves pork. Once you get them all cut up, you're gonna wanna take one and throw it on the pan there. Does it start to sizzle? That means you're hot enough. Throw in the rest of them. Well, that is quite the sausage party. You're gonna wanna let them cook for about two or three minutes on each side. Keep rotating them around. Nice and even. And while those are cooking, let's, let's make up our sauce here. So the spices we're looking at are our garlic, our salt, our sugar, our red pepper, green slash black pepper, our paprika, turmeric, and our cayenne pepper. And at the very end, you add in that uh, sunflower oil and, and mix it all up. This is about the consistency you want. Those are looking all pretty cooked now, so let's add in our veggies. You know, the ones we sliced up earlier. Yeah, you throw them in there and let them cook for about two or three minutes. And then add your sauce. You gotta mix it all up and let it cook for about two to three minutes, just until the uh, the veggies start to soften there. And then to add a little bit of color, let's add some tomato paste. Then we're gonna mix it on up. Yeah, that's about the consistency we're looking for. You let that cook for about a minute longer, and then you add about a half cup of water. You know, just to make it a bit more saucy. You let that simmer down and thicken up again. And that's pretty much it. So let's do some plating. So we got our rice, our spinach rice, and then you just throw it on top. And then, then it looks like this. It turned out pretty good. It was really delicious, actually. So thank you for watching another Cooking with James video. We had a, we had a great time doing this one. I, gotta thank Kate once again for giving me a hand with this. It's very hard to slice up things and record at the same time. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. It really means a lot to small YouTubers like me. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Twitch once a week or so. You can check the Facebook fan page, I post stuff there as well. I'm all over the place. And you can find all those links in the description below. But until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for putting up with James. 